If you want to run your day instead of letting your day run you, you need to take control of your time. You need to be more intentional about your time. And I've got three tips for you today. Hi, I'm Kathleen Lawson. I'm a business strategist and I help solo professionals and small business owners implement the vision that they have for their business. So this comes up with my clients a lot and I just worked on this with a, a new client. When she came to me, she was working all the time, all day, every day. And everybody is trying to get a lot done and you're trying to create this business and life that you desire. And so you need to take control of your time and that's really about leveraging your time. And it's about adding structure. The structure is what's gonna set you free. So these were the first three strategies that we implemented. The first one is to decide your hours, like set business hours. And when you set business hours, you are deciding when you're gonna work, but you're also deciding when you're not gonna work. So set those hours and try your best to honor them. The second one is to take into account your natural rhythms. So think about when, what time of day is best for you to write or do focused work or do admin or, you know, when are you no good and you need to do uh, something easy. So think about that and incorporate that. So if you were a person that needs to have the morning time to really focus in and do your, your writing or whatever focused work that you might do in your business, then don't schedule client meetings and networking meetings during that time. Push those to the afternoon or maybe vice versa. Maybe you're an afternoon person and that's when you get really creative and you wanna focus in. So maybe you set your meetings in the morning. So just take that into account. And the third thing is to make sure that your automated scheduler, your Calendly or whatever you're using, is reflective of the schedule that you want. You do not need to make yourself available Monday through Friday, eight to five. You don't, because then you end up with like weird blocks and meetings all over. So think about when you really want to have those um, times available. It's okay to just be available two days a week for meetings, or maybe just in the afternoons, and maybe never on Fridays, and maybe not on Mondays. Whatever is going to work for you, you set the schedule that you want. So those are my three strategies uh, to start taking control of your time. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear about what's going on in your business and any questions that you might have that I could help with. So you have a great day.